Hello students, welcome to today's e-learning session on combustion and flame. Part 2 Importance of Oxygen in the Process of Combustion We learned so far about the definition of combustion and about the combustible and non-combustible materials in our previous lesson. Now, let us investigate how oxygen support for the process of combustion. Light a candle and observe. The candle burns with a flame. Now, put a glass jar over the candle and observe. Candle puts off in a short time because the flame has used up all the oxygen present inside the jar. Now, let us slightly modify the experiment. This time I will burn the candle and cover it with a glass jar. When the flame of the candle starts flickering, I will raise the jar. What do you observe? Candle continues to burn. I will repeat this for two more times. You can see candle continues to burn. From this activity, we can say that air supports combustion. We know that air is a mixture of gases. It contains nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapors, etc. The main component of air that supports combustion is oxygen. Let us prepare oxygen and find out whether it supports combustion. Take a spatula of KMnO4 crystals in a boiling tube and heat it. It decomposes into manganese dioxide and oxygen. Now, let me introduce a burning splinter inside the boiling tube. Observe how splinter is burning inside the boiling tube. You can see splinter burns brightly inside the boiling tube than outside. From this activity, we can say that oxygen supports combustion. Let us confirm this by few more activities. First, let us prepare oxygen. To prepare oxygen, we need the following materials. Boiling tube single hold cork, rubber tube, iron stand, beehive shelf, trough, glass jar, spirit lamp and potassium permanganate crystals. Take about 4 to 5 grams of potassium permanganate crystals in a boiling tube. Heat the boiling tube with a spirit lamp. Bubbles starts coming out of water in the trough. Fill the gas jar with water and keep it inverted over a beehive shelf and collect oxygen by downward displacement of water. Why oxygen is collected by the downward displacement of water? Oxygen is lighter than water, therefore it is collected by the downward displacement of water. Let us now perform an experiment with the oxygen collected in the glass jar. Let me burn a magnesium ribbon. Magnesium burns to form magnesium oxide and produce heat and light. Now I am introducing this magnesium ribbon inside the glass jar containing oxygen. What do you observe? Oh. It burns with a very bright flame inside the glass jar containing oxygen. With this observation, we can conclude that oxygen supports combustion. Hope you all enjoyed these activities. Let us quickly revise to know what we have learned in this lesson. Air supports combustion. Oxygen can be prepared by heating potassium permanganate crystals. 
oxygen is lighter than air and can be collected by the downward displacement of water. We saw magnesium and splinter burns more brightly inside the jar containing oxygen. Oxygen supports the process of combustion. Thank you.